your osmvtxreviews.com. You're watching our unboxing slash video review of the Silicon Touch Watch. This is a touchscreen LCD watch. It's a digital model that you can purchase in a host of colors from white to black to brown, pink, blue, green, and the so on and so forth. And it can be found on Amazon as well as eBay.com for about $5 or so. So it's very inexpensive. And the touchscreen part is something that's uh, kind of intuitive and interesting because we haven't really seen that before. So it doesn't exactly have a brand name associated with it, as you can expect from something that comes out of Shenzhen, China, but the price is just right for something that's pretty innovative. And again, we're gonna ha have to see if the touchscreen element is something that's worth the price or not. Inside the packaging, we don't have anything except for the watch, and that's about it. So we don't have any official gift packaging. So if you wanna get this as a gift, you have to get your own box or container. Inside, we have the white model of the watch. It is splash proof and light waterproof, meaning you can't actually take a full dive with this under, for example, 30 meters of water, but you have to, you can use it in the shower and the so and so forth, so it doesn't get um, submerged fully in water, but it can be uh, repellent of most small amounts of water and rainwater. Taking a look at the design, it is made out of plastic, and even though it is silicon, it's a little bit of a harsh silicon. It's actually harder than I expected, and the material feels pretty coarse and not as soft as perhaps a silicon case for an iPhone or a smartphone device. On the side here, we have the different length bands for the uh, watch's armband. There are no button controls on the unit at all, and all the controls are done via the touchscreen display. The back of the device features, again, that coarse material the centerpiece which offers the battery compartment and then just have the arm band around it. I'm not sure if the battery has to be pre-installed, I'm guessing, but as far as how to turn it on, I guess there's just a control in the center or so and so forth, and I guess we can tap on it to illuminate different parts. Again, it doesn't seem like there's any physical controls or buttons on here, it's just a one-piece kind of touch display. Um, not sure it's actually fully touched though. It doesn't seem to be fully touched, it's more of a you have to actually press inside, so it's a, actually more like a button rather than a fully functioning, fully functioning uh, touchscreen control set. But um, you can very lightly tap on it to control the time and see the information as such. It's pretty bright and it comes in this red LED color that's pretty cool, especially in darker environments. And when the watch is not on, you can't really tell that there's anything underneath. If we wanted to turn off the lights and take a closer look at the watch, you can see that under darker environments, the watch comes out pretty good. On camera, it's seeming to be a little bit weaker, but in real life, the color is a lot closer to a lava red, which is very cool. And also, it's a lot easier to read in real life than it shows up on camera, which seems to be a lot more fuzzy for some reason. But the effect is actually fairly cool. Um, I would say, though, however, it's not a fully touch-operated watch in the sense that you can kind of just touch anywhere and expect the device to light up. There's only one specific sensor pad on the bottom here that registers the watch's touch. It's pretty easy to set up and you can see the time, date information, clock, seconds, toggle back and forth between different settings. Um, but it's a pretty basic one. It isn't a smartwatch by any means. And also the touch control set isn't fully touch like a touch screen as the advertisements claim, but rather it's more of a button that you have to press a little bit firmly on the center to activate. So it's not a fully touch screen device as the kind of advertisements claim, but it still is a pretty interesting watch, a pretty inexpensive one, and a fun little gadget to play around with. Overall, I would say that the touch silicon watch um, is okay for the money, I guess, if you're looking for something innovative and a conversation starter, but definitely don't get it if you're expecting a smartwatch or a fully functioning touch watch in the sense that you can touch anywhere on the display and the device will illuminate. Instead, there's only one part and it's more like a button than an actual touch screen. If you can get away from those faults, it's pretty nicely designed, it's very modern looking and very stylish, um, and for the money, again, it's actually a pretty good deal. Thanks for watching this video review here at osmbtxreviews.com. This has been our video review slash quick unboxing of the Silicon LED Touch Watch. Thanks for watching here at osmbtxreviews.com. You can also check us out at OS Tech News, which is our brother site.